Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 19 of the math proficiency test for teachers on Ontario. Before we get going, however, I would really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button. That way you can help the channel grow and you could get notifications for future videos, keeping you on track in your studying for the test. Without further ado, let's tackle question 19. We have that Merrick's mean score on eight tests is 72. What is the total of the scores for the eight tests? So in other words, what we're asked here, the, the first step to solving any problem is to understand what's going on, right? So you can watch this video here as a review of what it means to have an average. And really what we have is that the average is just the total divided by the, the number of observation, of observations, okay? So there's different ways to write this formula. You can pretend that Merrick had 72 on his first test and then 72, keep in mind we want an average of 72. So just as a stupid example, let's pretend that he got 72 on all of them. So right now I'm at five, six, seven, eight, Put one more. And so we got 72 on all of them and then we need to divide this number by the number of times he wrote the test. So it would be divided by eight, right? And when we do this, it's obviously 72. What's the average if he got 72? Well, it's uh, on every one, then it's obviously 72. So that's what we're doing here. But the question is asking for the total of the scores, right? So the total of the scores, really it's asking for this here. So by plugging in the numbers in the formula, we get something like this. We get that the formula is M is the total over N. Well, we know Merrick got a 72 and T, that's what we're trying to find. And the, the, the total number of tests is eight. So therefore, if we solve for T, the total, it's just eight times 72. And that is, drum roll, let me just, it's the same thing as this here. Or we could also do eight times 72 and it should be 576. So we know that T is equal to 576. And that's one of the answers. And you can just test your answer. You could add them all here, but it should make sense intuitively. The hardest part for this question is to know the formula and understand what the question's asking. Now for step three is to build your intuition. So let's go a little bit beyond the problem to extend the understanding of average and how to calculate grades and so on. So I'm asking, gonna ask you a simple question. What is your final grade if your work term is worth 60% and your final exam is worth 40%? These are the grades that you got. You got a 87 during the whole term. So imagine you had assignments, midterms, quizzes, participation marks. On average, you got 87 out of 60 points if you want. And on the final, you scored a 73% out of 40 points. So how would you calculate the average? Well, you need to use a weighted weighted average. You can Google the official formula, but I'll do it in, intuitively because that's always the best way to do it. So you got, you could have got 60 points, right? And you got 87% of those. So let's do 80, 0 0.87, or maybe I'll type it. You got 0 0.87 times of, of is times, right? 60 points. And then you, so that when you do this, you would get 52 points. So you got almost all the points that you could have out of 60 points, but then we need to add this to the 73%, three quarters of 
40 points so then that would be about 30 points so you know you're gonna finish with an 82 average ish something like that so you do point 73 times 40 points and then 81.4 that's your final grade so again it's your grade times the weight of that grade to get your final score out of 100 therefore your final grade so final grade would be 81.4 percent i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video of do the work